All right. I feel bad about it, but I'm having a little frustration figuring this out. And somebody wanting attention is not helping, so she is currently in the closet. She will be out in about 15 yes. minutes, so there's... There we go. No harm, no foul. All right. But she will not be making a guest appearance in today's video, because she gets... Ah, uh, grown Cyclops children. What a horrible fate. Grown children. Wouldn't those be adults, buddy? She's half bug, but she still seems aware as a Cyclops. You can tell that at a glance. But anyway, uh, she gets really clingy when the weather gets cold. She blows Who me off in the summer. Who are you? Gorilla. I'm surprised to see another Cyclops in the hive. Especially in the Queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? Oh yeah, I you uh, owe me five bucks. The Grimwall of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the Makers. Alright. Let's see. Makers or... Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grona's research team. Before he betrayed us. I There's more than one city. How did Grona betray your team? It's a little complicated. But I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you like. Yeah, hold on a second. Her claw at the closet. I don't have much worse. time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us. But Grona convinced the Queen to let us live. Although now, I wish we had been killed swiftly, instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgery. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the Insectoid's plan? It doesn't. Grona has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments, his failures. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Someone needs to talk to Grom. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. Whatever the secret to our mentality is, replacing the lower I half of the body. I tend to the clones, <sighs> monitoring their life signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short lives a little less painful. It saddens me to see them suffer so. Ugh, clone just to suffer. That's... That's horrible. This right looks there. like part of the great machine, but I can't move it. Well, well maybe not a great machine. I, I would say it was part of the relatively okay machine. Hmm. Anyway, and I wouldn't say they were Granma's so-called surgeries. They clearly bisected you. machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. And replaced your lower half. So they were actual surgeries. They just weren't for any benefit. But they weren't so-called surgeries. And as I was saying before, before I stopped to not step over the lines, if there is a secret to immortality, I no, doubt cutting a... off and replacing anybody's legs are going to be the secret. That would I can't do that. No. Okay, how the hell do I it get the hell out of here? That, that. Oh, button. 
button, button, who's got the button? All right. I don't think sphincter vaders are gonna catch on. It's just unpleasant and unsanitary. All around general un. Is this all the body of a single beast? Whoa, 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 whoa. That here. Yeah. You gotta take the this thing again. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's get on with it. Hey, if drill instructors call everybody maggots, do the bugs in charge of training bugs call the bug soldiers babies? Huh? Oh, great. Now I'm stranded here. Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. Crap. Never mind the fact that I walked back and forth over it a few times already. Oof. Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong about Kromna? Um, I don't know. test cycle initiated. Perfect. No! Molecular cohesion negative. Damn it! Bummer. You know how important molecular cohesion is. What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Ooh, worms. Let's go fishing. Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. <laughs> wow, you really are the smart one, aren't you? All right. I'm done talking to this step-headed red child. We've got the pieces placed. We got everything we need. I can't. I can't. It was the butt Vader. There we go. On and on and on. Even the doorway is blocked by a living wall of worms. Yeah, I gotta open it every single stupid time. Fortunately, I don't have to do the puzzle again. Here we go. I'll have to climb up there somehow. Yes, I clicked on the stupid rope. There's no After somehow. long ages though. of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? Well, I am one of them. I too have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Bronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids! Blah, 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 pudding. My god, he can go on. These controls are similar to those Graven used to create the portal. Yep, no explanation for why it's jammed into the Queen, but hey. And we never get one. Apparently it makes portals and makes My bugs stronger. God, that's it! All along. It's been so simple. All right. Back to reality. Mm -hmm. Well, flashback. My God, that's it! 
All along, the answer has been right here. Right in front of my eyes the whole time. Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now. Hold on. I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this I can open a doorway anywhere. I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive. That's it! Alright. Well, yeah, looks like we're done with this chapter. Oh! My goodness. 008. Apparently I wasn't cool enough to be 007. Oh god, that's a morgue drawer. Ugh. Yep. We are in a drawer in a morgue. Trying to corner the market. Oh, that's terrible. It's really a shame. Of course it was. Oh, why am I doing this? Because I'm evil. Well, because I'm me. Now where am I? Cyclops? Bugs? Mother? All of these monsters must mean something, but what? It could mean you've been pumped full of drugs? Corpse. I'll be in a bag soon, too, if I don't get out of here. Deliberately gaslighted? Driven insane? The doors have frozen shut. The door... Good thing ours did. The door... The door... The door... The door... Yep, they're all locked. The door... The door... The door... The door... Door, 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 out of here. That door is the only way. If only Nelson Tethers was here. All right. Seriously, anybody? Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Man, the deadites have gotten chattier. Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. Well, it's not really eternal it, if you it wake up here. It's getting like... cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep like me forever. It's getting cold. Forever? You must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Rewrite would have been better. It's getting cold. That's because you are in a freezer, stupid. Must open the door. Get out of here. All right, time to fiddle around with this thing. And I have just enough memory to be annoying. I remember it's easy once you figure it out, but annoying otherwise. All right, there we go. No, it's just literally move it up to the top. Every time you do, it will move the gears to the lever on the top and the bottom, once three times to the left, three times to the right. Then once the gears are in place, the central lock will there we go. Banana bread! I did it. Alright. Excuse me, I am so sorry. Ugh. Well as far as burps go, that was tiny, but still. Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. No. Maybe something else. Grody to the max. A pipe U joint. Too far away. Too far it. away. It's in the next room. How the hell Not did I from see here. it? All right, A screw bunch this. of tools in here. Monkey wrench. A monkey wrench. Also known as a spanner. Well, this isn't working. Okay. You know, it might help no. if you said words to the effect of the tag it's on not this hooked one up. says nine. There are no names on these tags. This just says six. The tag on this body says seven. Okay. Good to know. The tag on this body says two. Okay. I guess they're waiting their turn for the very, very intense sauna. 
Man, Max, you seem to be triggered by what stepping What the hell in your are rooms. you doing? Excuse me? Cutting my research department in half? Pulling most of my funding, despite the fact that my department, my research, is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know? I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Oh, you smug bastard. Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... I apologize. No, it, it's all right. Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look. You don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. Yeah, we'll work something out. Feel dizzy. Bullcrap. An empty brass urn. Eh, I don't talk about how much I earn. I don't even monetize. Dr. Morgan so has zero. an iron bust of himself. <laughs> Pretentious. All right. Well, a large bust is often a good thing, so I'll a take book that. book of matches. Hey! That's where I saw the leprechaun. He told me to burn things. I need something to bust through this wall. Something to bust through the wall, huh? Wonder what it could be. An iron... I wonder. Ah. Boom. All right. Oh. This wall looks pretty badly damaged. Gee, how could that have happened? All right. We gotta finish busting the wall. Yuck! But I don't remember what. Oh, just pick up the bust and do it again. Okay. Sometimes the simplest answer is the best. Yes. But remember, I'm conditioned from years of the same item never working twice. I smell gas. Must be an open valve nearby. Oh, that would be hell. Pipe Imagine valve. a gas leak in a room sealed off by a wall you didn't know was there, and then boom. All right. We've redirected the gas. And we've picked up the U-joint. I love them U-tubes. Yeah, that joke was used in Monkey Island. Don't care. An imp. Turn it on. How do I start up this gruesome thing? Hmm. Turn it off. Uh -huh. Like the light switch. Just go click. It's a nifty. Yeah, let's not go there right now. All right. Funny stuff, but I don't. I try not to make. Jokes aiming at any particular. There are no group. names in these tags. The tag on this one says. Right. Yuck. Get in there. Uh, it's got to be a morbid job. Yeah. Corpses. Hope this isn't anyone I know. Right. A glass eye. Don't think the owner will miss it. Probably Ugh. not. Hope this isn't anyone I know. You didn't even bother to open the bag and look. An imp. Urn! Urn full of ashes. Wagon full of pancakes. This Let's pipe is cold. Ooh, this pipe is cold. And I bet the other one is... Ow! Too hot to touch. Alright. You know, I'd kind of like it if they were the other a way around. A pipe? A monkey? So I've got a U-bend. So I'm gonna put it in a place. Bada-bing, bada-bing, bada-boom. That bang, ought to defrost this whole building. Well, let's go talk to the human equivalent of Cranky Kong, shall we? It feels much warmer in here. Yeah, he's not all that cranky, but he's got the exact same bald head and beard. 
I hear you. Shut up. I don't remember which cell you're in. I know. <sighs> all right, I may have paused it, checked them all, and then loaded. Someone's alive in there. An old man. He looks cold. Duh! Who are you? My name's Arthur. Arthur Patrick. Yes, that's it. Hey, as long as you're not Patrick from What are you SpongeBob, doing in the drawer? Last, we can get along. Last thing I remember, I was taking a nap in the courtyard, and then they were dragging me to some weird laboratory. On the rooftop? Uh, could be. I don't know for sure it was raining. It smelled blood. Dr. Morgan was there. He, he looked at me and said, Said I was too damn old for his purposes, and I thought I, I remember he, he was holding a human hand, and then I think I fainted. I, I they must have thought I was dead. I next thing I I knew I was in that drawer and scared all to hell. Being in that drawer is enough to scare anyone. Darn right. Dark and closed in. Terrible cold. God, that awful scratching. It was a bit chilly in there, wasn't it? Chilly? I damn near froze my ass off. Started to fall asleep. Must have dozed off until you came by. I... Did you turn up the heat? Yes, I did. Well, it's, it's nice here now. Thank you, Sonny. Scratching? What exactly was it? Can't say for sure. I uh, just remember hearing these awful screeching and scraping noises nearby. Nearby where? Outside? Yeah, it's kind of disorienting in there, you know. It sounded muffled, but... I... I guess the sound was coming from another drawer. Morgan, he was holding a head? Sure, a stack of Bibles. I saw it. His arms were red with blood and he was swinging around the head as he was talking. Kind of gesturing with it, you know. But he was really yelling at the two orderlies. Some, some patient got loose or something. I, I don't know more than that because he fainted dead away at that point. Okay, trying to decide what's creepier. The doctor holding a human head or hearing scraping and scratching coming from inside up. Wait a second. There are scratches all over the inside. It's dark in here. I can't quite make out what these scratches are. Scratching, hmm. scraping and scratching inside a morgue drawer is bad enough, but when you're locked in Matches. another one and forced to listen to it right next to you, that's messed up. These scratches don't look arbitrary. Was someone trying to communicate something? Um, if they were locked in there, they could have just been... No, now that's what? definitely not Matches. random scratches trying to get out. Let's, oh, we can translate. Here I sit, all brokenhearted. There once was a man from Nantucket, and there once was a man who planted a tree and spoke to it daily. In reverent rhyme, or spoke to it daily in reverent rhyme. Before he died, he shared it with me, the rhyme I have spoken to the tree many times. Approach it with caution and whisper these words. Speak to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with birds. Burma shave. Well, that was an eye-opening experience. That joke's even before my time. I only know about that from old Looney Tunes and uh, original Mad Magazine and whatnot. Alright. It was an old shaving Headstone. Home advert. Stephen B. Composed as a musician. Now decomposing. They're decomposing composers. Less of them ever Difficult to read, 
Isn't there an old trick about rubbing soot on worn carvings to make them legible? You can say what you like Breath. to Beethoven. Ashes, but there's not left much of him left to hear. The ashes show faint scratches. A name, Paul Stark. There will always be a Stark in Winterfell. Alright, let's see. Can't get in there yet. So let's take a look around. Interesting style. At least it's not a gargoyle. Nope. Alright. Hey, tree. Even the trees appear to be insane. Speak Even to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with bird. Oh, wait, there's a tree with a face. Hi there. The tree, it moves. Speak to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with birds. Mm. Oh, threat. Why have you summoned me, stranger? Normally it is the man with the glass eye who speaks the words of commandment. I'm he afraid did. he's dead, but he left behind the cryptic message that led me to you. Very well. What is it that you seek? Pudding, and lots of it. Who are you? My name is Malus Ionsis. I am the guardian of the light, protector of the grove. How do you guard the light? It's all around us. Fool! The light. It is housed within the heart of ancient mighty warriors. They alone understand the true meaning of sacrifice. I don't understand. Yeah. What do you sacrifice? Freedom. Movement. Growth. My limbs ache to stretch upwards into the nurturing sunlight. Yet I must remain steadfast, lest my trunk stray from its position in the grove. I am he who must remain in place. You know you can grow up without Why your trunk Why must the grove moving? be protected? Stupid. Greed. Pride. Evil. These aspects of humanity threaten all life. Thus I remain, and none may pass. Save what? Who? The Creator. The Makers? The Creator? Yes. By his name only shall I be swayed from my place. Well, I created a fanfic once, In the so name of your past. Creator, Paul Stark, I command you to move aside. Paul Stark, the Creator. He who planted my seed and gave me life. In his name, I do as commanded. Alrighty, looks like... Strange and wonderful prism. It seems to focus the light that passes through it. Alright, well anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed, like, the stone comment, says, and subscribe. Eric R. Get to work, you maggots. Or not, I'm the not the boss of you. The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? The sculpture Have a good one, everybody. Be safe, be well, be happy. Not and from here. Uh, I've got nothing else to add. Bye-bye.